Hey everyone, in today's video, we are diving into something super exciting, building a chatbot using Python and Llama model. Whether you are just getting started or looking to level up your AI skills, this tutorial is going to walk you through every step, from setup to creating a chatbot that is smart, responsive and ready to impress. I will start with the demo first. I will start by asking this language model some simple prompts to see how it responds. First, I will ask a straightforward question, what is your name? This is a common opening prompt to test a model's conversational style and ability to introduce itself. So as expected, the model responds appropriately, identifying itself as an AI chatbot, just what we had hoped for. Now let's try something different by testing its general knowledge. So I will ask, can you explain the theory of relativity in simple terms? The model gives a well explained clear response which is impressive. So next, let's move into some math and logic to see how it handles these type of questions. So I'll start with what is the square root of 144? The model answers correctly, perfect. Finally, let's have a bit of fun and see if it can get creative. So I will prompt with tell a funny story about robot and a cat. The model responds with a charming and humorous story. So overall, this model shows strong versatility in both factual knowledge and creative storytelling. Now we can check how to set up this chatbot locally. Before we dive in, here is a quick look at what we will cover in this video. First one, setting up Llama 3.2 on the Olama platform. Then installing necessary libraries in Python. Then writing Python code to connect to Llama 3.2. Then finally, building a simple chatbot interface using Streamlit. Alright, let's start with the basics. To use Llama 3.2, we will be using Llama platform, which makes it easy to work with large language models on your own hardware, so you can run LLMs locally. First, go to Llama website and follow their instructions to install Llama. Download and install Llama depending on your OS. Once installed, make sure it's up and running. After that, open your terminal or command prompt and type this command to install the model. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Olama will handle the downloading and setup for you. Once it is installed, we will be ready to use Llama 3.2 with Python. Llama 3.2 has 3 billion parameters and has 2 GB in size. This is a lightweight model which is capable of following instructions, summarization, prompt rewriting. 
These models are optimized for multilingual dialogue use cases including agenting, retrieval and summarization tasks. You can also try with different versions of LAMA model but make sure you have enough hardware requirements. Next, let's set up our Python environment. I recommend creating a virtual environment to keep things organized. If you are new to this, just follow these commands. If you don't want to set up a virtual environment, then you can skip this section. Now let's install the libraries that we need. We will be using the Olama library to interact with the Llama on Olama and Streamlit to create the chatbot interface. Run these commands to install both of these libraries. Now we are ready to connect our Python code to the Llama model on Olama. Alright, let's dive into some code. Open your code editor. I am using VS Code and you can choose your own. And let's start by importing the necessary libraries and writing a function to generate response from Llama. For that, I create a Python file called app.py. So rather than typing the script line by line, I already have the code and I can explain the code. First of all, we need to import the libraries, which are basically the Llama and Streamlit libraries. Then we have a function which basically used to communicate with the model. All right, let's break down this Python function generate LLM response, which is designed to interact with a language model. In this case, Llama 3.2, this function takes user's input or prompt and uses it to generate a response from the model. Let's go over it line by line. So first, we have our function definition, which is generate LLM response. This function accepts two parameters, prompt and model. Prompt. This is the actual question or input you want to send to the model. Model. By default, it is set to Llama 3.2, but you could specify a different model if you have other setup. Now we structure our input for the model. We create a list called messages, which will hold our prompt in the specific format that the model needs. Inside messages, we have a dictionary where it contains role and content. Role is specified as user which tells the models that this is the input coming from the user. Content is the actual content or the prompt we want the model to respond to. Next, we send this structured input to the model using olama.chat method. Here, olama.chat takes in the model name and our messages, then sends it off to the llama model to generate a response. Finally, we grab the response content with this code. This part extracts the text of the model's reply from the response and returns it as a output. So when you run this function with a prompt like what is the capital of France, it will send that prompt to Llama 3.2 which will respond with something like the capital of France is Paris and you will get the answer directly from the function. Now let's make our chatbot interface using Streamlit. Streamlit is great for creating simple and interactive web applications without needing to know front-end programming. We have got our main function here, which is chatbot. This sets the app title, giving our app a welcoming header of Llama 3.2 chatbot. For the user's message input, we are using st.txt area, which gives a nice larger input box where users can type in their prompt or question. Next is the send button, which triggers when clicked. If the user input isn't empty, the app shows a spinner to indicate it is processing. The response generation starts here. The code prepares a placeholder for the response, then calls generate LLM response to send the user's prompt to the Llama model and get a reply. If you are new to using placeholders in Streamlit, they are like empty slots that can be updated dynamically as content is generated. Here is a function called a typing effect that takes Llama response and makes it appear one character at a time, just like a real typing. So when you run this app, you will get a chatbot interface with conversational back and forth, each response from Llama appears in a realistic typing effect creating a smoother, more engaging experience. Finally, run this command which will run the application in local in port 8501. What's interesting here is not only how accurate and natural the responses are but also how quickly the model can respond. And here is where your hardware setup plays a huge role. If you are running this on a high performance machine, especially on with solid GPU, you are going to notice a lot of less latency compared to running on a standard CPU. In other words, the more powerful your hardware, the faster and smoother your interaction with the model will be. Alright, that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we will take things a step further and dive into fine tuning.
I will show you how to customize the model to improve its responses for specific tasks or domains so you can really make it your own. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.